What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Infinite Discoveries where we discover the infinite through the finite. So today I wanted to share with you a really simple technique to ground you to the present moment just like that. And so basically what we're what I'm going to be sharing with you is a way of using gratitude to really anchor you into that state of being, of being present to the moment, of feeling good in the moment, right? And so understand that as you embody a state of gratitude, you are actually shifting from a lack state of mind into an abundant state of mind. And by focusing on what you do have, rather than what you don't have, what you are able to do is you are able to become appreciative and feel good about wherever it is that you're in in your life. Because growing up in this kind of society, we are bombarded with malevolent marketing schemes and advertising campaigns to make us think and feel like we're lacking something and that we need to buy something to make us feel whole, to make us feel better about ourselves. So the thing about gratitude is that you're allowing yourself to feel that appreciation now. You're allowing yourself to feel that wholeness and that, that just really good, deep, heartfelt feeling right now instead of saying once I attain this then I'll be appreciative of my life because that's the thing that a lot of people get tripped up over um, they're always thinking that life is supposed to give them something to be grateful for and that there needs to be something that is worth being grateful for before they can feel appreciative for what they have and you see the problem with that is that once they get what they want they have developed so much momentum with this mindset of always putting their appreciation, their fulfillment, their happiness on the future, that once they get what they want, they're gonna repeat the same cycle again. And so I'm gonna give you guys a little affirmation that you can say in the mirror, you can say it to yourself, you can say it out loud, and it goes like this. I am abundantly blessed and infinitely grateful. I am abundantly blessed and infinitely grateful. And what you can do when you're saying that, when you're saying that affirmation, is put your hands over your heart. And what that does is it essentially amplifies the feeling of what you're saying. And so understand that when you just say it out loud and you're really focused on the words, you're focused on the concept or the idea of it, then you're more so just generating energy within your brain. And the thing about the heart is that it is scientifically proven to be 5,000 times electromagnetically stronger than your brain. So, when you consider that, um, it, it just, you realize that it's a lot more powerful to really get that feeling from your heart. Because essentially, a feeling of appreciation, a feeling of gratitude does emanate from your heart. But if there is still too much focus in your mind, then you're going to be missing out on the amplification of it, right? And so just put your hands over your heart and you'll be shifting your awareness from your head into your heart space and you'll be activating your uh, toroidal field and you'll be becoming aware of it. And essentially what your toroidal field is, is the uh, energy field, the electromagnetic field of your heart, of your entire body. And it spans out several feet. And essentially what that consists of is your overall vibration your overall vibrational state that you are emitting from yourself. And for example, have you ever walked into a room or passed by somebody who was in a very negative place in their life? Like 
they were going through some dark times and you could feel their energy coming off of them. Like you could feel their negativity, right? Like you can feel other people's toroidal fields. You can feel their energy. You can feel their vibe. And so basically your vibe consists of your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, all of that. And so when you learn to increase your vibe, increase your heartfelt feelings of gratitude and appreciation for what you do have and not what you don't have. Focus on what you do have. And so yeah, realize that you can be grateful for anything in your life. You don't have to try and come up with something that is worth being grateful for. But if that is what you need to do to get that initiated, get that feeling initiated, then by all means, go for it. If you need to think of a moment in your life that you were super grateful, like some, maybe somebody did something for you and you were super appreciative of that. If that's what you need to do to initiate that feeling, then by all means, do that. But it's just important not to get too caught up on the idea of it and to more so focus on the feeling that you are cultivating within yourself. And so if you know anything about the law of attraction, like attracts like, you'll understand that as you're putting out a more high vibe state, a higher frequency vibration of your being, you're going to attract similar type frequencies and vibrations uh, in the form of experiences, in the form of interactions that you have with others, you're going to attract similar things into your life. Because like I mentioned earlier, if you've ever come across somebody who's very negative, they're putting off that negative energy, you can feel that and it feels, and, and it feels like, you, you know, you get all tense and you, maybe you cross your arms over your heart to protect yourself and you just, you don't want to have anything to do with their vibe because it's contagious, right? And so understand that as you increase your state of being, as you increase your feelings of appreciation, you're going to naturally attract similar type experiences that will resonate with your newfound state of being. Because the, th the thing is, when you are coming out of anything from a state of lack, from a mindset of, I don't have what I want, you are putting off that vibrational energy of not having what you want. And you're going to experience more experiences in your life that show you that you don't have what you want. So that is why it is key to become appreciative of whatever it is that you have in your life now. Appreciate the fact that you're able to breathe. Appreciate that sensation that fills your lungs when you take, an, take a deep breath of air, right? Be appreciative that the blood is flowing through your body and that you're alive right now. Be appreciate, be grateful that you even exist. It's amazing, it really is. And so, yeah, as, as you cultivate that state of being, as you really start to embody that pure state of gratitude, no lower emotions can possibly coexist with that state of being whatsoever. Because essentially what you're doing is you're shifting, like I said before, you're shifting from that state of lack, from seeing what's wrong with your situation, what's wrong with your environment, maybe what's wrong with yourself, to becoming grateful and appreciative of what's good about it of how it's actually all perfect, it's all fulfilled, everything is fine, everything is perfect. And so, as you cultivate that, as you embody that and feel that within yourself, you're going to start resonating with more experiences that you'll be able to be grateful for, right? And you know, the happiest people in the world, the happiest people, they are grateful for the smallest things in life. They allow themselves to be happy for the smallest things in life. 
They don't have such a high standard for what it is for something to make them happy, to, for something to make them grateful, right? And that's something that you'll see in our society. We're always looking for the next crazy experience for us to be happy, for us to be grateful for. Right? And so the thing is, when you lower the bar, when you lower the standard of what it takes to make you happy, of what it takes for you to feel appreciative, you enter a whole new state of being. You enter such, you enter a much lighter state of being. You feel better consistently. Because you're not saying that all this tremendous amount of work or all this tremendous amount of seeking or achieving is going to make you happy, but rather just being alive, rather just being able to cultivate that feeling of appreciation right now. And so, yeah, as you cultivate that, as you embody that state of gratitude, you're going to naturally through the law of attraction. It is a universal law. It is always working whether you know it or not. Because if you are always focusing on what you don't want, you're going to get more of that. You're going to get more examples of seeing what you don't want. And so what you can do is just focus on the fact that you're alive right now. Focus on that state of being, of being appreciative of the present moment. And that will in turn make you present to the moment 100%. Because when you're not present, you're usually thinking of something else. You're thinking of a moment that might make you happy, or you're thinking of a moment that might even be making you sad or anxious. And that's taking you away from this moment right now where you could be enjoying the plethora of experience that is happening right now in this present moment. So. Yeah, with that being said, uh, feel free to use that affirmation. I am abundantly blessed and infinitely grateful. I am abundantly blessed and infinitely grateful. Just feel that resonating from your heart. It feels amazing. And so yeah, uh, definitely leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, if you thought this was of value to you. Definitely a great way to become present to the moment and to just embody that that feel-good vibe That state of just fulfillment and wholeness and awesomeness So yeah uh, Leave your comments suggestions and questions down below letting me know why And feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you want to see more content like this I'll be posting videos every single day and Yeah other than that, I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.